can do it for my iguana. And basically the chainsaw, the saw, whatever the fuck it's called. That was supposed to be kind of wood, but we lost the charger, so that sucks. So we gotta go borrow another friend. So, um, that's all I really want to tell you about that, what you're looking at. It's just holding a little bit of supplies. Um, but let's get started. Right here is my Toke Gecko Tokyo. Um, he's cool. He eats. He is skinny. I got him from a White Plains Expo a couple months ago. Uh, my bro, I'm skinny. He eats, though. Um, I want to move him to a smaller cage. You get, like, a pair of crusty geckos. But it's hard trying to get a toke gecko out of this cage. I mean, I got to change its water and add them plants in. But, uh, yep. That's him. Tokyo. Alright, right here. My beard dragon named Girly Girl. She is a male. Well, he is a male. <clears throat> um, He's in hibernation right now. Hibernation, hibernation, whatever. So when he comes back out, uh, I guess he'd be ready to breed. That's his UV. His top light and everything else. Um, Just to let you guys know, I, will, I have some new additions I'll be showing y'all at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that if you don't want to see uh, my normal collection. This right here is my uh my normal bandit uh leopard gecko. I just weighed her today. She weighed like seventy two. Whoa, 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 you're gonna fall. Dang it. Stay. Come here. This is her waffles. Um basically she had laid two eggs for me. I'ma breed her again. She got stuck shit on her guy. spray tank. But um she laid I think she got one more in her. I'm not too sure. I don't she might, she might not. I'm not too sure again. Here you go. So, um, yep. Yeah, so, if she do, I mean, even, I mean, if she don't lay, she'll still have, uh, I could still breed her because she weighs 72. Before I bred her, she weighed 83. So, she's doing good. Um, she has a water dish, a moist hide, and, uh, uh, never hide. Right here is my bearded dragon, um, Wendy. She is in a ten gallon. Um, she is a rescue. My friend rescued her, and then we uh, then I took her in. So she's just gonna be in this small tank for a little bit. I'm gonna change that light. It's a little bit too hot, as you can see. So I'm gonna change it. So no worries. But um, she's just in this little tank because I'm quarantining her and stuff like that. I have a bigger tank for her. So uh, she's very skinny. Uh, I gave her a bath yesterday. It was poop caked up on her. So, uh, that's her, Wendy. This is just her little 10 gallon she's in right now. But, um, she got UVB heat light, which I'm going to change to about, about 75 watt or something like that. But, um, she's just, she's gaining weight, so she'll be going to her uh, permit home pretty soon. This right here is my fire belly toad tank. I only got one toad because my cousin took the other toad. Um, I have two fish in here. where they go they kind of scared I guess there's one but anyways um, I just dropped a pellet in it I will be getting probably about four more toes pretty soon so I'll give you an update on that um, this is just a regular light bulb that's one of them no he light oh this was my savannah monitor oak cage alright so um, right here is my bullfrog Ooh. Right here's my bullfrog. My, no, my tapo. It's pretty big. I don't know. I've been feeding him. He's pooping, so not too much to say about him. Right here's my toad. I'm moving him in here for a little bit. This is not his permit home. It's a little bit crowded. His name is Big Mac. But, um, he eats it better in this cage, but it's not his permit at home. He's pretty big. I didn't weigh him, so. Probably able to do that soon. That's just some extra supplies and stuff. Just some supplies down there. Toke could go. We have some plants over here. If anybody cares. Um, right here, I'm probably put something, either a fish tank or like a TV or something. I don't know. So, uh, that's it for out here. Let's go see the rest of the animals.
empty tank. All right, guys. I'm waiting for my dog to come in. Not trying to make this video over ten minutes, but uh, I might. So, um, where do I start? Right here is um Toronto, my leopard gecko. Turn the heater off real quick. It's pretty hot in here. It's probably about ninety-five degrees in here. Here, thank you for knocking. Here's Toronto, my leopard gecko. Come on. This is an empty tank. Um, yup. This right here is a uh, Sarita. This right here is Sarita, my leopard gecko. Male. Toronto is a male too, but he's not ready to breed. The Sarito. Sarito is ready to breed. Um, Bob Pythons. I just fed them just like an hour ago. Here is my male normal. Whoa, you do not eat the rat, but you killed it. Okay. <sighs> it wasn't live. Well, yes, it was. It was live, but I was watching it, and he was constricted. And it was basically dead already, so. Yep, and they do have heating pads. Probably can't see them on the camera, but. They both got their own heating pad, so don't trip. Here's my female. She just ate, not going to really too much bother her. This is her. Uh, I'm going to show you my big female. She bites. I think she wild see, wild caught. Um, This is her. I'm not going to take her out and pull her out or nothing like that. But this is her. Um, she's about to leave for breeding. Damn, yeah, can see her. She's pretty big. She's about five or five and a half. She has her own heating pad too. There's just two. My pastel gone. Um, I sold them. Oh shit. I sold them. So, uh, yep. That's it for snakes. Um, she's my female is going to go breed to some ball python to my friends. Somebody I'm working with ball python, so we will probably most likely have some eggs. I'll talk about that at the end though. Right here is uh my iguana. His name is Rocky. This is not his cage. The cage I showed you in the beginning, that's supposed to be his cage. But this is pretty big. It's a forty wide and um it might look ghetto. I have tape holding the uh, tile up because he just rips it down. Because he's more of a climbing animal. That's why I want that tank for him. Because it will be ver vertical. But um, he has his bastion spot, his UV. I'll add some plants for while he's in here. But um, it's a cool cage. But just not for iguana. It reminds me of a savannah monitor. And show me how much I miss mine. But it's cool. Uh, Rocky is pretty cool. He ate for me yesterday. Um, I just got him. Like last week or something so that's rocky oh must forget a lot of animals guys uh right here's my pac-man frog i'll pack y'all this is him just get him up there real quick and right here is my baby uh leo his name is uh organ king organ Cause that O on his back remind me of the O for Oregon, the college, and um, I just like the name King, so his name is King Oregon. Damn, it's hot as it's hot in here. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys my wall. I just tape all my cards that I get from the expo, cause I really have nowhere to put them. Um, this right here is my, I must say, it's a leopard gecko rack or fat. It's some type of gecko rack. Or maybe sandball rack, but um, here are my new additions. Um, I have the morph for them. I need to cut that plastic. Can we go? I have the morph for them. Um, I don't know it right now. It's like a pattern is something. I have their morph, so um, I have it on paper, so. 
they're pretty nice. They read the breed. She weighed like fifty four. Uh, well, that girl's ready to breed. I didn't really much weigh her. She's kind of like Toronto size, so she need to get up a little bit more. But this one was like a pear duck stripe rainwater something like that. I have the morph, but I don't know them by heart. So um, yep, that's my new Leos. Those are my new additions. I got them like two days ago. They're cool. Uh, right here's a new edition. I got it today. Got a bearded dragon. Another one. They said it's female, but um. Young. Yeah. Yeah, hot dogs been here somewhere. You tell me. Some hot dogs. You know anything about hot dogs? Nah. Oh, but um, sorry about that. All right, sorry about that. But um, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but um. They told me it's a, a female, but looking at it, I think it's a male, because Wendy's a female, back up, it's female, uh, Wendy's a female, and it kind of looked like my male, uh, my male I already have, so, uh, yep, this is it, um, I got a cage for it, and stuff, dang, it's hot, it's, I don't know what in my room, so, um, that's it. Go into my contest. Um, it ends the 12th of April, I think, because that's the day I'm going to Expo. Uh, so you better let me know that you entered, and I will announce the winner. Uh, actually, I will announce the win winner w the 11th. So you get to 11th because the Expo is on 12th. And whatever animal you get, I got to go get it from the Expo. And you have to pay shipping. Go read the rules. On it, so um, yep, just scroll down, find it in my video feeds. So, um, yep, uh, things I need to tell you is um, I order an incubator and some um, materials. I'll be doing an ink uh, unboxing on that. Um, I will begin these uh, beard dragon cage from um, what's that place called? From Bowmaster, probably like in, a, in the next by April, maybe the middle or end of April for these guys, for him and Wendy. When they get, um, I mean, I got cages for them, but I want them to have a little bit more space. So, um, yep, they'll begin their own cage, big cages and stuff. <clears throat> because the iguana was supposed to go into that vertical cage, and this guy was supposed to go into here, and Wendy was supposed to go in the cover cage. But it kind of got messed up. The cage for R Rocky was not done, so we lost the battery. I mean, the charger. So, um, yup. Uh, breeding plants. We will breed. Be breeding ball pythons, beard dragon, and Leo. That's what we're breeding. I think in my incubator. Incubator, and once my beard dragon come out of hibernation, we'll be breeding some stuff. So, um. Uh, Yup, snakes and all lizards and all that type of stuff. We will be breeding. Um, right now, I'm just like trying to get uh, more uh, dishes, more hides and things like that. Right now, I'm <clears throat> saving my money up. I got a little bit of money saved. Um, just saving money because I don't have a job or nothing. <clears throat> Sorry, it sounds a little bit weird, <clears throat> but um, yup. That's what's about to happen, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe. Don't run leave my bed, please. So, yep, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my contest. Check out my other videos. Shout out to uh, the one who gave me this. Dang, what's his name on here? Damn, I forgot his name. He has it. I'm going to like one of his videos. I'm going to put him in the description. Go subscribe to him. He actually gave me this guy. And he got a new tag you and stuff. So yep. And shout out to Gecko three seventy eight, my work partner. And shout out to Reptile Guy three hundred for uh, helping me out. Good friend of mine. Oh, shout out to Kobe Teleski. Um, he he just got a a reptile house built and stuff like a house built for his 